Hey everyone, so Tall Guy here. Thanks again for tuning in as always. I really appreciate it. And before we kick off, I would just like to say thank you very much to everybody that subscribed over the last week. Um, I believe the channel is growing quite nicely. Um, it's a fairly new channel, just over two weeks old. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, the future of it and where it's going to be going and what we're going to be doing. But again, thanks again for tuning in. This is about Hammer Station, the flashpoint in Star Wars The Old Republic. And this guide's about doing it in under 10 minutes. Now, in order for you to achieve that, the first thing you need is you need a really good tank player in your team. Somebody that's got lots of endurance, shield rating, and they know what they're doing. So as you can see there, our tank is going to pull the first bit of creeps. We are not going to attack the creeps at all. We're just going to run behind him while the rest of them follow him and try and destroy him. As you can see, he's you know, quite mobile. Um, he's taken quite a bit of damage over there, but he pops some of his defensive abilities. And we just continue to follow. Um, a couple of our players have taken some damage, but nothing to be worried about yet, as they've all got healing abilities, um, you know, escape abilities. So for now, we're all all right. But there we go. Tank's busy opening up that. It's a shortcut. I actually think the skill required for that's either archaeology or slicing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you guys can correct me on that. And there we go. We're through. So those creeps will not follow past that doorway. Once you get to that doorway, they're not going to follow at all. Um, and then combat should end. However, I was the only one in combat still. So I just pop in this there and then pop out again. And as you can see, we're coming up to the first mega boss. This is a veteran mode flashpoint. So that's why you can see the healing cold toes on the sides of us. It's not a master mode. Um, and the reason I did um, veteran mode was just so I could do this flashpoint for you guys. Again, even in veteran mode, it's still a really nice flashpoint to run, especially if you've hit level 75, because you can grind this flashpoint in under 10 minutes in most cases. Um, and the items that they drop here are all in-game items. So it's a really good flashpoint um, if you're going to farm. Um, you know, we call it the, the farming flashpoint. If any of us need to gather items or things, we just go, right, let's run a, a hammer station. Now, just in terms of this boss, as you can see, we've defeated him quite quickly. He spawns these other little droids um, that come up around him. And the only thing you've got to watch out for those guys is that red circle there. Because the moment, um, you know, it turns red, red, uh, within a couple of seconds, it explodes and it causes quite a lot of damage, especially if they're grouped up. So avoid them at all costs. Um, what really helps with this flashpoint is if you do have two DPS players, that don't even have to be DPS players, but two players that are able to CC. In other words, do crowd control. Because then you can CC a lot of the... Um, NPCs or the, the creeps and you can just continue your journey onwards. So as you can see there, we put that guy to sleep and everybody just runs through scot-free. Now this section here, there's a lot of creeps around the corner, so our tank's going to pull them. We're going to gather up here and as they bunch up, we're just going to pump AOEs on them um, and try and finish them up as quickly as we can so we can move on to the next objective. Uh, as you can see, they've all been pulled and everybody is throwing all their AOEs out. And they go down pretty fast, pretty quickly. There we go, last guy's done. And as you can see, you know, we took damage, but the tank took most of the damage. Um, oh great, this guy saw us, so that's not supposed to happen. Um, he's actually supposed to be pulled with the rest of the guys and then defeated, so he's not a problem. But he was a problem. But anyway, finished him off quite quickly. And then it's up this elevator here. So if you've got archaeology or slicing, again, please someone correct me on which skill you need to access that. Um, but you can go straight, which is the long way, or you can go up the elevator here, which is the short way. And you do need archaeology or slicing to open up that console. Now it's just with these creeps here, finishing them off quick and easy. Um, they're not too difficult at all. They do some damage, but it's nothing major or anything to be concerned about. And again, as, as, as long as everybody brings their side, you know, the DPSs are doing DPS, the tank's tanking, and, you know, if you've got a healer, the healer's healing. But in this case, you don't need a healer, really. As you can see, we're pretty much finishing them off quite quickly. All right, we are heading off to the second boss. 
And as you can see, we come around the corner, just jump up here and avoid the creeps on the left. Now, the first person you want to take out or creep you want to take out is the one there on the left-hand side. And then it's the second droid on the right or the second guy on the right. He's got a cog on him now. I've put a cog on him, purple cog. And then you take out the big boss. So you first take out the two side creeps and then it's the big boss, um, especially if you're playing hard mode. Um, then it becomes a bit challenging and the damage that they pump out is quite high. But as you can see on veteran mode, we're all fully geared. They are dropping like flies. But yeah, I hope this guide helps, especially even for story mode. You know, if you're just playing story mode by yourself, you've got your assistant droid with you that's also pumping damage or playing a tank role or healing you when you need healing. You know, just follow the same mechanics. Um, you're going to see that you're going to get through the um, flashpoint a lot easier. And again, these guys drop shields from time to time. And if the shield activates, then you've got to move on to the next um, NPC or, or character to kill. So here we're just activating the console. Uh, everybody skips. I'll wait for them to skip it and then we'll move on. I actually like his head or his helmet. Let's call it a helmet, not his head. <laughs> Okay, we're done with that cutscene there, and now it's moving on to the final boss. Now, when I mentioned earlier about having guys that are able to CC, this is where it comes in handy. So he goes left, I go right, we put both those guys out of commission, and our other two players can walk through easily. We don't have to take on the other creeps that are going to come through the door. There are tank jumps towards me, guardian defense, guardian leap as it's called. Here we just finish these creeps off quickly. Now as you come around the corner here to the right, there is like these boss turrets. Now they're quite tanky, they've got a lot of health, and there's a nice way around them. So what you do is you run to the wall here, and everybody hides here behind the wall. As you can see, we're out of their line of sight, and they cannot see us. The moment the bridge goes blue, then everybody runs across, let the tank pull them, you know, let his, put him, um, his abilities on the draw their fire to him. And then you guys just finish off this droid, but you're out of range already from their guns. So now you just finish off the last bit of NPCs here or creeps. Don't take too much damage if you can, because um, you need to fight one more wave and then you're on the last boss. And this last wave, those two droids at the back can be quite deadly because they also drop this AoE ability and it does tons of damage. So I really want, there you go, you can see that AoE ability is popped there. Stay out of that red circle because the damage it pumps out is a lot. And if you get caught in both of them, you probably will die. Now with this boss, don't run directly towards him. And if you do move out of the way because that AoE that he's spraying there of bullets, also does a ton of damage. Now, when you're fighting him, if you're standing behind him, have your back towards that console there. Don't fight diagonally to him at the back because if he pushes, if he does a, a push ability, um, he will push you off the edge and you will die and then you'll be out of the fight. So stay in front of him, next to him, but do not be diagonal like I was there. Just popping some healing. There we go, he did a push, but fortunately I went up and not sideways. And I think this is a really good team that we had here. I mean, everybody just did what they had to do to finish this guy off as quickly as possible. Um, when his side creeps pop, if you have an AOE pushback, um, meet them where they land and then push them off so you don't have to deal with them like that. And that's it, flashpoint over. Now, just remember you're still in combat. So the only way to get out of combat is to kill yourself and you will respawn where you started. All right, guys, that's the tour guy out. I hope you enjoyed that guide and I hope you can take something out of that. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you all soon. Cheers.